not started the fight by saying I'm going to get in another room. And I'm not going to sit here and fight about fucking Toronto anymore. Guess what? I let it go. I'm not fucking about, I'm not fucking talking about Toronto. Send I can me the tapes. It. I can whisper it. I can write it. Guess what? I'm not saying another fucking word about You got the tapes. Let me hear them. Send me the fucking recordings. Just, just text them to me. Um, I don't know how else to say I will to you. I haven't because we have not been well. We have not been good. When I fucking move out, if I move out, then you fu I'll have a, you'll have them and you can fucking relish them. You won't fucking like it, what you hear. Won't make you happy. But you'll hear what I'm telling you. That was after... What you got? I was just pausing it. I realized I was about to run out of battery and I'm still rolling. Thing. Oh. Jerry? Um, since we don't have the hotel yet... Um... The claim came up in Johnny Depp's ongoing defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife. Elon Musk is speaking out against one of the more salacious claims to come up in the messy and extremely contentious fallout from Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's marriage. According to a deposition from Depp's ongoing defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife, the ex of Amber's friend Raquel Pennington claimed Raquel told him Heard, Musk and model Kara Delavine had a three-way affair. Dot while he wasn't sure when it happened, Depp's lawyer specifically asked whether it was in November 2016, which would have been months after her split from Depp, but before they were legally divorced. While neither Heard or Delavine have addressed the gossip, Musk denied it to page six. Kara and I are friends, but we've never been intimate, he said. She would confirm this. Also, I wish to confirm again that Amber and I only started going out about a month after her divorce filing, he continued. I don't think I was ever even in the vicinity of Amber during their marriage. Regarding this lawsuit, I would recommend that everyone involved bury the hatchet and move on, Musk concluded. Life is too short for such extended negativity. Nobody is going to say, after it's all over, that they wished the court battle had lasted longer. Heard filed for divorce in May 2016 and went on to accuse Depp of abusing her during their marriage. He vehemently denied her claims, and they reached a settlement in January 2017 in which they jointly said the relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. After Heard wrote an op-ed about her experience with abuse for the Washington Post, Depp filed a $50 million defamation lawsuit against her, even though she didn't mention him by name in the piece.